Hey guys, I'm Denim. Welcome back to my studio. So today I'm going to show you guys my collection of reptiles versus sharks. My entire collection of reptiles versus sharks collection. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin, okay? So the first figure, let's take a look at this Komodo dragon. This Komodo dragon actually holds lots of memories. When we got this figure, it was actually like, um, what do you call it? The, the tummy, it's actually inflated, deflated I mean, it is like concave, there's like a huge hole right here um, So we actually took a hair dryer and blow it and um, you know use a very hot air to actually blow it up and um, it resume back to normal So this is a very nice um, Komodo dragon figure, okay? Alright, um, next up let's take a look at a shark figure, this one is definitely like it's not really like a collector's item, but I feel that this figure is kind of fun because you can actually open um, the jaw by pressing this fin right here. So it's kind of fun, really, really fun to play with. Okay, next, let's take a look at another um, reptile. This is basically a snake figure. I think this figure has been with me for a long time. It actually belongs to uh, my kids. Okay, it is actually a an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. It's a very very beautiful one as you guys can see. Um, so Rattlesnake, it actually has this tail that actually rattles. Yeah, it's a very very cool snake. Next up, let's take a look at this basking shark figure. We have a couple of basking shark figures on our think, and I think this is like one of the better ones that we have in our collection. It's um one from Collecte. It's quite nice, it's quite well detailed. It's kind of old as well, you can see a, a bit of damage right here, but I think that's fine. Okay, moving on, let's see, what is this? This is also a relatively new addition to our collection. It is actually a um, Amazon tree boa. Yes, Amazon tree boas, they actually feed on little animals like birds. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, here we have a Hammerhead Shark. This is quite a nice one. It's actually a Shark figure. So do you guys know that there's actually a use for the Hammerhead? It is used to press down the prey while they feed on it. Okay, so that's the usage of the Hammerhead. This is an Iguana Beautiful Lizard. It can actually camouflage itself by changing its body colors, I think. Alright, let's move on. Another Reptile. This is actually a um, Giant Tortoise. That's right. John taught this, they are, they have very very long lifespan, if you guys do not know. Next up, let's see what else we've got. We have a, what is this? This is actually an albino python. Really beautiful, or um, snake, you can see the colors. Next, let's take a look at another shark. How about this one? I think this is actually known as the point, pointer shark, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. This shark right here is actually a goblin shark. It is quite a nice, you know, illustration of an um, um, goblin shark because goblin sharks can actually look quite hideous. I'm gonna show you guys one which is more accurate later on, okay? And here we have a beautiful crocodile, okay? A crocodile, really beautiful one. I love crocodiles. They are like descendants of like dinosaurs, so I really love them. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of like um, um, dinosaurs. Next, um, let's see. We have another figure. This is actually the same figure in terms of the sculpt. You can see they look exactly the same, but just with a different paint scheme. Okay, it's a very nice figure. It's like soft and um puffy. Next, another reptile. What is this? Um, is this a desert tortoise? Let me take a look at the name written right below. Um, let's see. Yes, it is a desert tortoise. They are much smaller than a giant tortoise for sure. And here, this is our biggest, <laughs> biggest shark. Okay, this is actually the megalodon, our biggest one. It's very fun. I, I love this figure a lot. You can actually like fit it with like uh, mini figures. For example, like this one. You can put it into the um, the jaw and down goes into the um, tummy and you can actually retrieve it by just opening this little um, compartment right here very cute very adorable next we have a sawfish okay yep that's right next up what is this 
this is a nurse shock. Okay, you can actually recognize this by these two little fang like structures in front of the face. What is this, guys? This is actually a fruit neck lizard. This can actually run. It's kind of cool. Let's see whether it's able to run on this um, flooring. Yeah, it's still able to run. Pretty cool. Let's see how far it can actually go. Let's just let it run all the way there. It's fine. Okay, it can be quite annoying. Okay, yeah, stop right over there. And here we have a great white shark. Yep, I've, I like this um, depiction of a great white shark. The face looks very cool. I, I, lo I love this figure a lot. And here we have a blue shark. Oh no, I beg your pardon. This is actually not a blue shark. This is actually a Mako shark. The blue shark is actually right over here. Yeah, that's right. They look quite similar. I mean, the figures. And here we have a little. I, let's call this a little crocodile. It's actually known as a caiman. I just went to um, River Wonders in Singapore. Check out my previous video, two previous video. I actually took some videos of a caiman. Please check them out, okay? Next, we have a Thrasher Shock. Nope, this is not a Thrasher Shock. This is the one. I took the wrong one, so you can see this shock has a very, very long tail. Another great white. Okay, let's see. And this is a snake. Slithering snake it is caught, but um, I don't think it's able to um, you know move on this surface. I don't think so. Yeah, the wheels don't work on the um, carpet. Carpet flooring doesn't work. Okay. Next, let's move on to um, another raptor, another Komodo dragons. You guys know that Komodo dragons they can actually run quite fast, and their bites are deadly. If you are bitten by a Komodo dragon or any other animals, they will be poisoned and they might die in a couple of hours after being beaten by a Komodo dragon, okay? Next, what is this? This seems to be a salt, um, it's a crocodile, not too sure whether it's a saltwater crocodile and saltwater crocodiles are actually like the largest species of um, reptiles around. Next, we have another goblin shark, this one is more realistic, it definitely um, it's more accurate than um, this one for sure so you can see it has a yeah so when goblin sharks actually attack the prey they will actually extend extend their mouth like this it looks very weird this is a bonnet head shark okay it looks very similar to the hammerhead but the head is actually much shorter than the or uh, much narrower than the hammerhead next Okay, this seems to be the same desert tortoise. We have two of them to be exact. King Cobra, very, very beautiful figure. I love this. You can actually bend this figure. Yeah, I think we should remove this like, you know, a long time ago. Let's try. Yeah, we got it out finally. So King Cobras, there are over 270 species of Cobras around. Yes, and some of them can actually spit the venom up to like 8 feet away, which is pretty cool. This is a hammerhead shark, and this is supposed to be a baby. It doesn't look like a baby, it's quite big. Um, this is known as a robber gang. What is this? This is a anaconda, I think. Is this an anaconda? Green anaconda, yes. I've actually seen an anaconda at the River Wonders just a couple of days back. They are pretty amazing um, snakes. And this one right here, it's a boa, I think. Let me see. Boa constrictor. Yeah, I think they can like swallow um, the prey on its hole. Small little animals, they're able to do that. Hammerhead shark. This one is really beautiful. We got this figure like a couple of months back. You know, it came in a set. Some of them also include this, like this great white shark figure. Pretty cool. Um, chameleon, okay, this is actually a known as a veiled chameleon. chameleon, you can see that um, it has a very long tongue that is kind of like sticky, so they can just, you know, extend their tongue and catch insects, pretty cool. This is a scallop hammerhead shark, you can see it has some like curves and little, um, what do you call this, like patterns on its hammerhead, which is quite different from, I mean, which is quite unique. 
and here we have a remote control crocodile okay let me show you guys how this actually works okay um the bus there's a button right here okay i'm gonna put this right over here there's actually a remote control so let me show you guys um this is actually remote control so it's supposed to be supposed to be working let me try there you go so you can actually you know press the button and it will move very cool right yeah it's kind of fun and you can just turn it off pretty cool remote control um crocodile yeah maybe i can do like an electronic you know reptiles collection really soon and here we have two coit snakes quite black snakes all right next up um this it's another great white beautiful great white um another hammerhead shark this is known as a shark fin mako shark we got this figure like um last year a couple of months back okay i think this is the most accurate representation of the um, goblin shark yeah i think so i think this is the one this it's a fruit neck lizard it looks like a dilophosaurus to be um, honest with you if you guys know what is a dilophosaurus let me know down below another alligator this is supposed to be like the um, mascot for safari ltd with a small little shark but i have no idea what is the exact species of this shark so if you guys know let me know down below we have our hammerhead shark baby basking shark Okay, this one is my most favorite um, great white shark figure, or you can actually call this like a megalodon. Looks really beautiful. Another shark figure with those kind of like movable jaws. It's very fun to play with, definitely. I think this is so. This is known as a pointer shark, if I'm not wrong. Another great white. Another Komodo dragon. Yeah, we got this figure like recently as well. I was like trying to expand my Komodo dragons um, um, collection. We have a couple of Komodo dragons. I think we have about four, four of them so far. This one is my most favorite one. It's very big. It's at the same time, it's um, not too big because we, we do have a big one, right? I mean, just now I've shown you guys this. This is our biggest Komodo dragon, okay? Next, um, Megalodon, yeah? I mean, it can also pass on as a um, great white for sure. This is known as a fruit shark. Beautiful one. Um, bearded dragon. It basically gets its name from the bearded pouch. The beard pouch that it has. Beautiful lizard. Orange in color. I've never seen one before. This is basically a vilt. No, no, this is not a vilt chameleon. This is actually the um, chameleon baby. I'm not too sure what this chame chameleon is actually called. It's probably called the Haunt Chameleon. Likely. This is a grey reef shark. Yeah, you can see. Really beautiful figure. Um, lemon shark. So there are tons of different sharks. Okay, we have another one. Scallop hammer head. We have two. Exact same one. This is actually a black tip reef shark. If I'm not wrong. Okay, there's one right here. What is this? Let's see. Alligator, yeah, it is an alligator. I mean if you do a comparison the snot is actually much wider and um, It doesn't like point it doesn't look triangular like the crocodile. It's more like a rounded rectangle So that's the difference one way to spot a difference between an alligator and a crocodile, okay? This is a nylon crocodile. You can see the snot is actually very very sharp very narrow very triangular looking um, this one is known as the Haunt Lizard. Okay, you can see there are plenty of spikes behind the head. So, moving on, we have a white tip, oceanic white tip shark, not a white tip reef shark. I'm gonna show you guys the white tip reef shark later on. Okay, this one is the white tip reef shark. The other one is the oceanic white tip shark. And here we have another chameleon. Okay, very, very weird looking, I must say white alligator all right this is actually a leucistic alligator it's not an al albino 
Tiger Shark, you can see it has like different stripes. I think this figure is actually part of a um, Toys R Us set, if I'm not wrong. And right here we have a Thorny Devil, okay, a lizard which can be found in Australia. With a bull shark, probably one of the most aggressive species of sharks around. There are more human attacks recorded by this shark than a great white shark. Mega mouth shark, a pretty rare shark, is really hard to find. You can only find them like really deep down in the um, ocean waters. Tiger shark, a beautiful one. Um, hammerhead shark, okay, another, you know, I'm calling this the lemon hammerhead shark because this is yellow in color. Another tiger shark, we have the same figure. Yeah, I think some figures we actually have like duplicates, but sometimes when I purchase them, I don't really notice the difference. So I got like, you know, sometimes I get two of them. Such wider rattlesnake, okay? And this is a, um, I have no idea what this is. I mean, if you guys know like the exact species of this, please let me know. I'm basically calling this, um, you know, the black headed snake. And this is a rough tree green snake, a really beautiful snake. Coral snake baby. And a mini cobra. Yeah, mini figure of a cobra. But I love this um, figure because the pose is like so amazing. This it's a um what is this? Thorny dragon. This is actually the false head. So it can actually bend down its real head real head to hide um, like below to protect its real head to expose this one so from behind it actually looks like a real head very clever colored lizard one of the most beautiful lizards you, that you can find in terms of the colors really vibrant really colorful love it no idea what this shark is probably a great white but this is a zebra shark okay This it's um a leopard shark. Mega mouth shark. Great white. And another great white. This figure looks very weird because I think this portion here is like way too sharp to be known as a shark. Yeah, it's, it's way too sharp already, I feel. Corn snake. A brown snake. This is actually native to Australia. This one right here, oh wow. It's really hard to tell whether this is an alligator or crocodile. I feel this looks more of an alligator because the snout is not exactly like very very sharp or triangular looking. So I'm calling this an alligator. Another cobra, this is a different figure but it also looks very very amazing. I love the pose. A sawfish, a mini sawfish. This is our um, shark ray. Okay, I think this is a shark ray. I'm not sure. I think so. Basking shark. This one is actually from Safari LTD. It's a nice one. And a, um, this one I think is a crocodile because I remember this came along in an African animal set. Sand tiger shark. No, this is actually yes a sand tiger shark. They look kind of um, scary, but they are actually not that, um, you know, ferocious, great white, um, call this zebra shark or leopard shark, both are fine because they are actually of the same breed, just that they have to actually change from stripes um, to spots, this it's a giant tortoise I think, let's see, Pintar Island tortoise, nice, and this one it's um, it should be a giant tortoise. I'm gonna remove the, the sticker right here. Yep. This is probably a warbler gang. No idea what this is. This is a bearded dragon. A couple of um small shot figures right here, so I'm not going to like you know go through every single name. There's some like great whites, um hammerhead. This is probably a zebra shark. No idea what this is. It's probably a nurse shark. Probably. This is a bamboo shark. Alright. A red ear slider. 
not exactly a sea animal, but it is a uh, reptile for sure. Shark ray. Oh, what is this? Um, American alligator. Yeah, nice one. Got this figure like quite recently. Beautiful one. Great white. This one I think is known as a ghost shock. A mini hammerhead. Alright, so that is all guys. So you can see we have um I've basically shown you guys um I think three three boxes. There's another box containing all this, you know, sharks and um whales and dolphins with articulation. So I've basically shown you guys my entire collection of reptiles and sharks, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.